the foundation of, of capturing real data from the land will keep us grounded and keep our children connected to real outcomes that will matter. Farmers can tell when their land is improving. They can see it in the quality of the forage. They can hear it in the songs of birds, feel it in the texture of the soil, and see it in an ecosystem brimming with biodiversity. But how does a farmer describe the positive impact of their operation to those who don't know the land as intimately as them? How can they prove to partners, investors, and other farmers that their regenerative methods are creating positive change in the landscape? In this video, we're partnering with the Savory Institute and Snaplands LLC to talk about the best method to assess ecosystem health on your regenerative ranch. Join us to learn about ecological outcome verification, what it is, how we do it, and why it matters. Stay tuned till the end of this video to find out how you can implement this method on your regenerative farm. For years, regenerative farmers and ranchers struggled to describe, quantify, and prove the positive changes they witnessed across their lands under holistic management and careful land stewardship. Skeptics questioned whether regenerative agriculture worked, and data collection was confusing, inconsistent, and difficult to interpret. The Ecological Outcomes Verification Program, or EOV for short, was developed by the Savory Institute to tackle this particular problem. By measuring ecosystem health on short-term and long-term scales, master verifiers like Ryan White are able to help land managers better understand the changes taking place on and under the ground. So my name's Ryan White. I'm founder of Snaplands LLC, and I'm a master verifier for the Savory Institute's Ecological Outcome Verification Program. And I'm here at Heifer Ranch to train and certify the Heifer Ranch as a new savory hub. And their team is also becoming accredited to deploy the EOV monitoring strategy on farms and ranches around this region. So as a savory hub, um, we've decided to embark upon one of the programs that they offer, which is called Ecological Outcome Verification, um, to back up you know, our belief that we are having a positive impact here at the ranch with changing our methodology and changing our management systems and changing how we're, I would say, listening to what nature is telling us about this place. To begin, it's important to take initial measurements of soil health, forage quality, and other indicators of ecosystem wellness to learn about the current state of your landscape. This is especially important for land that has previously been degraded through industrial agriculture. As many of you know, the history of the ranch for a long time, lots of the land was rented out to area farmers who were using that for continuously grazed cattle operations as well as taking hay off the land. Over the last three years, we've really sort of shifted back to focus on holistic plain grazing, increasing our, our herds of animals to add positive impact to what we're doing, moving away from anything that resembles a monoculture to um, incredible diversity, again, in plants and wildlife and bird activity and soil activity, all of those things that indicate health for us. Biodiversity in plants, birds, and insects is one of the most obvious indicators of ecosystem health. But the process of ecological outcome verification measures far more than that. We're not only looking at just the soil conditions and what's under the soil, we're also looking at the primary producers of all the vegetation, the plants, and components that are a part of the water cycle that are a part of the mineral cycle, that are a part of the diversity and the forage quality and the forage health. How effective are these locations in capturing solar energy? That program is, is assessing the whole ecosystem is by looking at indicators of every single component of those, of those cycles, if you will. In order to evaluate a landscape holistically, EOV monitors have to evaluate multiple individual elements. Everything from soil carbon and organic matter to litter cover and water infiltration help us better understand the ecological health of a monitoring site. We have to look at the whole to understand if landscapes are becoming more resilient or are restoring in health as opposed to simply maintaining or sometimes degrading in resiliency and health. In order to capture the most accurate picture of the landscape here at Heifer Ranch, Ryan is teaching our team how to assess landscapes through both long-term and short-term monitoring. We kind of have two different categories of, of ways 
to assess land health. And we're looking at some indicators on the land that sometimes take a long time to change. And then we're also looking at indicators that are changing, you know, usually from year to year. That's more considered a short-term indicator versus a long-term indicator. The long-term indicators typically are more related to something underneath the soil. And to assess that, we will be taking some specialized equipment like a soil probe for taking specific measurements from the soil at specific locations and analyzing that for soil organic matter, total carbon, bulk density, things that are really uh, speaking to the soil sponge and the life in the soil that have a lot of ecosystem services. But like I said, that's a long-term monitoring example. And then on the short term, we're gonna be looking more towards ecological flags that are telling me that we may be getting better soil fertility. Instead of looking at sometimes the whole suite of you know, 50 plus different species on the land, we'll be looking at some of those plant species that are really the key flags. If these species are expressing themselves fully and are really healthy, then we're going to assume that the associate plants around them in that community are also likely doing well. So that's the difference between a short-term indicator and a long-term indicator. Let's take a closer look at one of the numerous methods used for long-term monitoring of a specific site. Right now, our team is conducting a line point intercept in one of our long-term monitoring sites. After identifying a strip of land called a transect, our team will measure out 40 meters with a measuring tape, creating the line of the line point intercept. They'll start at the beginning of the tape measure and drop a rod from a standard height to the ground. Once the rod is flush with the ground, they'll record every plant species the rod intercepts. Yes, that's right, every single species. They'll also denote whether the rod has intercepted leaf litter and record all the data to be examined and evaluated later. They'll then repeat this process all the way down this transect, recording an immense amount of data in just this one test. After the testing is complete, we'll evaluate the data to see how we can improve our land management in the short term but the real value of the line point intercept is its long-term applicability. When this test is repeated in a year, we'll have a better understanding of the way our land has changed. For example, if we see an increase in canopy cover next year, we can infer that our land has an increased resistance to degradation. By combining thorough tests like line point intercept, the Haney soil health calculation, and a vast array of other standard assessments, Ecological outcome verification provides the most holistic method of ecosystem evaluation. To get a better idea of the scope of measurements our team will be taking, just look at the thickness of their training manual. EOV also provides standard, universally accepted measurements and terminology for regenerative farmers to discuss their land management with others. We also want these individual land managers and landowners who sometimes been doing great work for decades to have the same type of language and term that's really universally accepted in looking at land health. So they can take the indicators that we're teaching them to assess and use that for their storytelling, use that for making better management decisions, using that for communicating to their families and to their children and to their school systems in ways that maybe they didn't have before. As a farmer, I can drive out and see indicators of improvement. For example, uh, we have a heavy rain and we don't see standing pools of water. So we know that we're increasing our water infiltration rate. Um, our soil tests show that we're, you know, improving. But EOV uses a very precise and consistent monitoring method, a scoring system that can be utilized over time to provide accuracy and consistent outcomes so that we can see if we're actually improving. As Donna mentioned, the process of establishing short-term and long-term monitoring sites not only began the process of consistent monitoring of ecosystem health here at Heifer Ranch, but also allowed four members of the Heifer USA team to experience hands-on training in environmental outcomes verification. So we just completed our EOV training and it was five and a half days of non-stop activity, uh, learning how to conduct these tests learning what to look for, learning how to be consistent in, in our testing. We are now certified to teach other farmers how to conduct EOV, 
but we can also go out and conduct tests for them. If you're located near central Arkansas and interested in having your land assessed or learning how to conduct your own ecological outcomes verification, reach out to us at heiferusa at heifer.org. Or if you're located outside of Arkansas, visit savory.global to contact your local savory hub who will match you with a master verifier for your eco-region. Additionally, you can contact Brian White at Snaplands LLC at support at snaplands.com. Though the process of intensive training, testing, and organization may be daunting, we can promise that ecological outcomes verification is worth the work in order to understand and improve your land. It's sometimes 100 degrees out there and there's some long days to, to listen carefully, but that's where reality is. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and check out how we move our pigs or learn how we develop our holistic planned grazing chart here at Heifer Ranch.